Freedom is independence. I think it's something I've always had to fight for. I live a, an amazing life. It's a life that I've had the courage to create. I had two choices. I could either let my condition define me or I could define it. Because I'm only disabled by the world around me. I think diversity really embodies the millennial mindset because we just don't take no for an answer. I would never have thought that I would be an entrepreneur, you know, the, the founder of so many different side hustles. I've had to find alternative solutions just to live every single day because I live in a world that isn't designed for me. And that's why I decided to create a new piece of technology that supports disabled people. We're here today because I'm meeting up with the team. We're at a really exciting stage now with Diversability. We're just a couple of months away from launch. Diversability is an inclusive discount platform for people that live with impairments and conditions because life costs more when you live with a disability. We've got the website testing. In the field of inclusion, we don't give the power to those that have the skills and the lived experience and the passion to really change the narrative. For example, a lot of people working in disability inclusion are non-disabled people. So it's about people actually reclaiming that power. I remember growing up and it wasn't diverse at all and I just thought, this doesn't reflect me, this doesn't reflect my community, this doesn't reflect my upbringing, this doesn't reflect anything about me. We have the power to change this. I was born with a rare genetic condition called brittle bone disease. It's characterised by bones that break without any trauma and by the age of 14 I had broken my legs six times. In my family we always joke that the hospital is my second home. Hi Mum. Hi Shani. My mum is expertly altering my clothes for me because I can't buy and wear clothes off the rail. So I'm very lucky that my mum is a brilliant seamstress. It would have been very expensive for you if you had to go to Thailand. Yeah. I didn't treat it different. I, I treated it the same as a brother and sister. When they've had a challenge and the easy option was to say that I can't do it. And my motto always was, there's no word as can't. Can't was banned. You, you choosing not to even <laughs> try to do it. Try first. If then you, you can't do it, that's different. I think with the era that we was brought up in and everything that we've been through, I think it makes you stronger. <laughs> So we're at the Sikh temple and if I wasn't at home or at school or in hospital, this is where you would find me as a child growing up. Sikhism is founded on the principle of inclusion and equality. It's really shaped me as a person and, you know, it's, it's hard working in the space of disability inclusion. I'm working in the system, sometimes against it to make it better. And I think my faith really gives me that strength to carry on when it feels really tough. Moving to London was hard. I was leaving my family and the city that I'd grown up in, but it was a big challenge that I was ready for. I can educate people, I can raise awareness, I can challenge perceptions, but equally I know I can't do it on my own and I don't want to do it on my own. I was looking to go and meet like-minded Asian women 
and the only events that I could find were to either, you know, book your wedding venue or buy a new sari. And I'm not interested in either of those things. And I thought, well, why don't I create the event that I want to attend? We're a team of 13 South Asian women now and we have a community of 30,000. We're across 38 countries. I, I never imagined it would ever, you know, be this big. The thing is, you are like the Noxus boss that I Yeah, know. I know. You know what I mean? <laughs> I feel that I have taken on this responsibility to make change in the world and I, I believe I can do that. The Asian Woman Festival is a global movement. We are you know, more than just an event. We held our first festival in Birmingham in 2019. I thought a few hundred people would turn up. We had over a thousand people on the day. I think it just goes to show that we were all looking for that safe space. My favorite quote is from Michelle Obama. Don't ever make decisions based on fear. Make decisions based on hope and possibility. Make decisions based on what should happen, not what shouldn't. Imagine if we all did that, the world would be a different place.